God is life. God is light. A cause can only come from sin. <laughs> a cause can only come from sin. A cause can only come from evil. A cause cannot come from the Father. Look at Matthew chapter 5 verse 43. Ye have heard that it had been said, Thou shalt love thy neighbor and hate thine enemy. Did you see the way Moses used to talk? Love your neighbor, hate your enemy. Bless, cause. <laughs> That's Moses' way of oppression. Bless, cause. Love, hate. In one person. In one person. Love some people, hate some people. In the same person. That is Moses' style of talking. Give me that Matthew 5, 44 now. Matthew 5, 44. But I say unto you, love your enemies, bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you, and pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute now, you. Now that is God's character revealed by Jesus. But I say unto you, this is God now speaking, love your enemies, bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you. He didn't say, break the curse from those that curse you. He didn't say break the cause from those that cause you. Uh -uh. He said bless them. Why? Because their cause can't work on you. So when they say I cause you, look at them and tell them be blessed. You are the one under a cause. You need blessing. You, you, you don't look at them and say it can never happen. It can never happen. Blood of Jesus. Fire. Holy Ghost. Uh -uh. If you do like that, you and them are operating at the same level. It cannot happen. You don't even respond to the cause. You look at them and say, Be blessed. I speak life over you. In Jesus name. <laughs> That's all we have to offer. That's what we have. A man cannot give what he does not have. It is out of the abundance of the heart that the mouth speaks. So since I am full of life, I am full of blessing. When you speak a cause at me, I speak the blessing at you. And the blessing defeats the cause. Because life defeats death because light defeats darkness are we still in the building yeah you speak the blessing you speak the blessing jesus says bless them that curse you pray for them that despitefully use you give me that 44 and 45 of matthew chapter 5 read for me but i say unto you love your enemies bless them that curse you do good to them that hate you and pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you next verse that ye may be the children of your father that which is, in is heaven. how your father which is in heaven operates so he couldn't have been the one telling abraham i will bless those that bless you and curse those that curse you no that can be god so already jesus puts a disclaimer on that cause because the father doesn't operate like that the father doesn't function like that. that give me that next that verse again that you may be the children of your father read on which is in heaven yes for he maketh his son to rise on the evil and on the good and sendeth rain on the just and on the unjust he sendeth rain on the just and on the unjust that's your father that's your father your father is a blesser he blessed in genesis chapter one and god blessed them and God said, be fruitful, multiply, replenish the earth, subdue it, and have dominion. And everything he created, he looked and he said, it was very good. That's your father. In him, there is no darkness at all. Satan was the murderer from the beginning. So wherefore, as by one man, sin entered into the world, and death by sin, for that all have sinned. So Jesus died took away the sin and by implication took away the cause freed man from death and sin and freed man from anything satan can offer any man the born again man today is in triumph over the cause over sin and death there is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in christ jesus for the law of the spirit of what life the zoe the life of God has set me free from the law of sin, the cause, and death. The believer is free from sin and death and the cause. Totally free. The cause has no hold over the believer. Why? The believer has been freed 
from the root of the cause. What is the root of the cause? Sin. Sin. There will be no cause if there was no sin. Jesus took away sin and put an end to sin. So the believer in Jesus is free. Free from sin. Free from the cause. Free from death. Glory to God. Woo, hallelujah. Hallelujah.